Today we have Janneke from our BizDev team with us. We'll be talking about Ultra's content acquisition strategy, how we think brands can leverage our tech, and what sets us apart from the competition. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the show, Janneke. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you. Quick reminder for anybody that missed your last appearance, can you tell us exactly what it is you do at Ultra? Sure. Uh, so I'm head of platform partnerships, uh, which is quite a white thing. Um, I work on uh, exclusive content. I work with brands. Um, I work with pretty much anything that connects all of the different products uh, that we have at Ultra. I wanted to quickly cover how we think that brands can leverage Ultra's tech. Um, what kind of partners do we expect to have on board? Like not specific names, but you know, you know what kind of partners? Sure. Um, so we are talking uh, to a few different uh, brands, obviously in the tech atmosphere, that's, that's a great place to start. But any consumer brand can really use Ultra. Uh, we also work with uh, sort of other services that might offer, you know, really cool tools or, or fun sort of uh, uh, apps uh, to the Ultra user. Um, I think the biggest thing that Ultra can offer brands is that um, our tech is really made for the mass market, um, which means that a lot of the sort of pain points that people have as soon as you talk about blockchains or NFTs, you know, a lot of people immediately feel, well, it will be so difficult to use. It's, you know, I have to actually, you know, study up before I can do anything. Um, it is very expensive. Like, I'll never know how much I'm going to pay. Um, a lot of that is, uh, you know, mitigated by Ultras Tech. Um, it's very easy to use. There's no threshold. Um, actually, if you, if you've never used blockchain before, if you don't really know much about crypto, that doesn't really matter for Ultra. Um, you know, you can pay with fiat. Uh, creating an account is, you know, very similar to creating something like a Gmail account or an iTunes account. Uh, something that by now, you know, an eight-year-old can do. Um, so that is one of the things as well as that we, you know, we don't have any high fees. There's no sort of, you know, the huge volatility that you see on other platforms. So that's obviously very valuable for brands and companies because they, they sort of need to be able to, to migrate a big user base, um, if they want to use blockchain as well as they need to be able to think about a business model. You know, you need to know what you're going to spend a year from now. Um, and you can't really do that if, you know, you might have huge gas fees or something like that. So when, when we talk about um, how brands can leverage Ultra's tech, we're also kind of talking about the unique marketplace because that's like a distinct but in, well-integrated facet. Um, how can brands kind of leverage the unique marketplace itself? Um, I think in general, that is more about what, you know, NFTs are offering as well. Um, so, you know, NFTs and the unique marketplace is obviously a great way to show content, but a lot of what we can do is sort of what lies behind that. Uh, you know, in a, in a way, the first thing that you see is just an image. And that is what a lot of people are now complaining about. Ah, oh, you know, NFTs is just a JPEG and stuff like that. Um, with the uh, unique marketplace, that isn't the case. So when you buy a unique, one of the great things is that um, the unique itself can be made up out of a lot of different images. So there's already a, a way that you can tell a story or really convey um, what this particular NFT is, um, as well as all of the sort of the uh, behind the scenes value. So the value and utility that is connected to an NFT. Um, and this is something that can be used by a lot of different brands. You know, it is an NFT can be a, a, a membership. It can be a subscription. It can be a really great way to reward users. Um, one of the use cases, for example, that we are working on is that a unique can be connected to a tangible good, which means that, uh, for example, for a tournament platform, you can uh, give away a unique as a prize. Um, in this case, it can be connected to a, um, a tangible product. So let's say a unique that can be uh, given to the winner of a tournament on Ultra can be connected to an AMD product. 
um, and it can be redeemed by somebody whenever they want it. But that also means that whoever wins this uh, unique can give it away to a friend. Maybe they already have the product. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that a, uh, a unique can be connected to um, community management, to prizes, to uh, marketing, to strategy, to ways to um, you know, bring new products or um, to your community or even to get the community's input, right? You can allow people to vote on, you know, uh, new product releases or something that you are working on if they own a particular unique. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that um, it, a unique and our marketplace can help bridge the digital um, as well as the physical, as well as being almost a connection between the consumer and a brand or a game. Uh, what kind? What kinds of incentives can Ultra provide for content content acquisition purposes? This sort of goes um, on a lot of different fields, so I'm going to answer it from a, a brand or a company perspective. So one of the things that we offer is that actually we can create a complete proposal for a brand. So if a brand or a, a company or even a game dev that might have uh, never really done anything with blockchain or NFTs, um, we can help them with that. They can discuss their goals and strategy with us. And we actually come up with a proposal for them on how to utilize this technology, how to utilize our entire ecosystem for achieving these uh, goals. And obviously we always also keep in mind um, how we can bring the value to their user. It's not just, oh, I wanna make more money. So, okay, well, we'll just do a very straightforward thing. No, we always look at, okay, you might wanna make more money, but how at the same time can we, uh, you know, reward your user to make them happy? Um, so that is one of the things that we do as well as, um, we always like to tell our community about what is happening. So we do our own marketing effort for whenever we work with a partner. So it's not just that they are targeting their own community with a campaign. They're also sort of tapping into our community, which is, of course, very active. Uh, a lot of people already know bits about crypto uh, for gaming companies or any sort of brand focusing on pop culture. Um, you know, the people that we're leveraging um, that that are part of the ultra ecosystem are very valuable. I, I don't think I don't think that people really understand how valuable it is for, you know, for example, uh, a large enterprise or a corporation who don't really have experience with uh, NFT technology or blockchain technology to be able able to go to a team who can recommend and make uh, confident, uh, bring confident ideas to the table that bring both like value and interest for the brand and allow them to work with a team who has expertise in this specific field. Yeah, no, I think that's definitely the case. And that is one of the things that we really try to do. So when we talk to a brand or a game developer or a creator that doesn't have a ton of experience yet with, uh, with NFTs or um, crypto, or in some cases, actually with community management, you know, we work with some people that have created beautiful content, but they don't know exactly how to get the most out of their content. That is sort of where we come in. So we always try to look at the goals and targets that a brand or a creator has, and we actually create a full proposal for them uh, for how they can, uh, you know, do an NFT campaign, uh, how it ties into their goals now, but how it can tie into, you know, their their goals and targets from two years from now, as well as how they can really bring value to their user. Um, that is one of the things that we do for the partners that we work with, as well as we always try to make sure that we, you know, get attention for for their content. Um, our marketing team will tell our community about it. Um, we will share insight into the brand. We obviously want to, you know, make people feel involved. Um, that is a, a huge uh, asset from Ultra is that we have such a, a an active community, as well as that we try to make the whole process as smooth as possible, which means that we actually have somebody help creators with 
uh, you know, onboarding all of their content. So we do not expect people to do it themselves, to, you know, spend hours onboarding individual NFTs and setting up the, the unique factories and, and stuff like that. Um, we pretty much do all of that. So Ultra does quite a lot um, to, um, to make sure that the content is uh, on our platform and uh, for both our users as well as our partners to get the most out of um, any drop. I think actually one of the most interesting th interesting things that you just said was how long the future view is for some of these companies. Two years out, planning two, three years out, um, I think it says a lot to the maturity of the larger blockchain ecosystem. Yeah, I think that is also, you know, of course with blockchain, blockchain is just sort of like a, a tool as well that can really span time. Um, but a lot of the times when you're talking about products to use game developers, for example, um, is, you know, they have a game that is coming out now, but they might already know that this game will have a sequel in three years. Why not already tie that into a campaign that you're running, you know, uh, give it as a perk that somebody that owns an, uh, an NFT of a particular game or a franchise or a brand will get early access to, um, to you know, one of the products coming out in several years. Um, this is something that is interesting for a brand because, um, you know, you can start with a user base, you can maybe get feedback, uh, people can get excited about a product before it's done. But it's also really interesting for a user because they are a part of something um, that is still being built. They might have some say in it um, and they will be the first ones to get a sneak peek into the actual product. Um, so that is just an example of how thinking far ahead can be very valuable for um, sort of every stakeholder in a product. Well, at the end of the day, it's the content which makes or breaks a marketplace. Um, at a high level, uh, we don't really want to go into too many details here. Uh, what is Ultra's content acquisition strategy? I think this spans over a lot of different departments. Um, so, of course, we want to make sure that we target to gamers and we leverage our relationships with developers there. Um, you know, a lot of developers have really, really awesome content that will never see the light of day, uh, concept art being one of them. Um, so that is some of the stuff that we that we want to use. You know, we want to make sure that we cater to our sort of original uh, target group as well as our original relationships. But we also want to see diversity. So we want to also approach companies that, you know, haven't done anything really in this space, but just have so much potential. Um, so that is something else. And this is really a partnership thing that we can work with brands or with um, creators that, that have content that hasn't been seen yet. And of course, we always keep in mind, right, is this content that appeals to to our user base? And, and then there is a, a bit of a pop culture um, flair, uh, things that are creative, things that have, um, you know, sort of speak to the imagination. That is That is the sort of content that we are looking for. And I think a lot of different people inside Ultra are working on this. What would you like to say to any NFT artists or project runners out there who may be listening and interested in Ultra's proposition? I'd say just get in contact. Like we are happy to chat. We love to work on a bunch of different uh, projects. And, you know, even people that haven't really considered anything in the space, um, but are thinking, well, this might be a good time, um, reach out and we would be happy to help to set something up and um, we can do a lot of the work for you. So that's a, that's a pretty good deal. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Thanks a lot for your time, man. Thank you so much. We're gearing up for the next phase of testing that will be released this summer. So stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe and keep it ultra chill. See you next time.